so what we see in front of us is a cone and particularly i love when we have to calculate the volume or surface area of a 3d shape why is it interesting to me at least is because we can actually try and visualize there are multiple ways to visualize how these shapes uh, have the surface area that matches some other shape in 2d version so if we pressed the top of the cone like this which i'm doing right now it gets converted to the sector of a circle i haven't shown the labels here this is height h this is radius of the cone and this yellow line on the cone is a slanted height and we'll see quickly how is the relationship between h r and l but it's interesting to see how when pressed from above we can get the sector of a circle uh, this can also be imagined as if we cut the cone uh, through this yellow line and spread it out it will still show us the sector of a circle let's try and see now how we can get the surface area so on the left hand side we see a cone and let's try and label this so this is height h then this is radius r so i'm going to write capital r and the green slanted line is l there is a clear relationship between l h and r because the angle that is formed by the sides h and r is a 90 degree angle the pythagoras theorem applies and we can see that l square is r square plus h square and we will use it to see how the surface area pans out now we are interested in just finding out the curved surface area we are not considering the disk that lies below here so we are not considering this surface area of the disk at that sits at the bottom of the cone first we will just calculate what is the surface area which is curved so this is also known as, known as curved surface area so let me just label this as curved surface area and then we will add the uh, disk that sits at the bottom and we'll see the total surface area now once you open this cone as we just saw we will see that this is l this is l and the length i'll just erase this portion here so basically this is the part of the cone that uh, we are interested in and we want to find the surface area this is l this is l the length of this curved part is 2 pi r how we can find the surface area of this particular part which is also the curved surface area if this is some angle theta i know that the area of this sector is basically theta by 2 pi because theta is in radians and then i can multiply this with the area of the circle this is which is pi l square this will give me the curved surface area of the cone is there any way to find out what's the value of theta yes if i look at this arc length i know this arc length is 2 pi r which is the result of computing theta over 2 pi times the circumference that this particular circle would have formed so basically because the radius is l the circumference would have been 2 pi l and therefore i can find theta in terms of all the rest of the values 2 pi 2 pi goes away and theta is equal to 2 pi r divided by l now i'll i can put this value of theta here and see what is the curved surface area of the cone that is going to be if i replace theta by 2 pi r over l and have this denominator 2 pi again times pi times l square you can also choose to put l square is equal to r square plus h square but for now let's just put l square here and let's see what this is so this is 2 pi 2 pi go away 1 l cancels out with one of the l and we are left with r pi and l or better sounding pi r l and therefore curved surface area of a cone is given by pi r l so you need, just need to know the radius and a slanted height l but what if you didn't know what l was and you were just given with h we can know that l is basically the square root of r square plus h square from here and then you can also write this as pi times r times square root of r square plus h square so basically even if you weren't given with the value l you can still find out the curved surface area of the cone like this 
Now, what happens if we find total surface area? Total surface area is basically the curved surface area plus area of the disc that sits at the bottom of the cone, which is pi r square, right? And this is basically total surface area, TSA. And so TSA is in fact pi r l plus pi r square. And this is kind of a very beautiful looking formula in my opinion, which is pi r. We can take pi r common and we can just write l plus r. And that is the total surface area of the code. I would like to show you another very beautiful animation that gives another kind of visualization into the surface area of a cone. And that is the curved surface area basically. So let's see. We already know how we can convert a given cone into a circle just for the visualization. But to calculate the surface area, what we could do is we can we can dissect the given sector into different triangle looking sectors. So multiple sectors. And what we want to do is that we want to take out this particular length of the arc and the length of the arc is going to be 2 pi r here. Now let's increase the number of r, we can decrease or increase here. But let's pull out these small small sectors like this and the total length of this side is 2 pi r and if we take we combine the blue and red sectors like this we still see there is a curved part here so we cannot really say that these this is a straight line here and here but what if we just increase the number of sectors that we dissected the bigger sector into we can say that the line above and below don't anymore stay a curved part like this just goes as a straight line and what we really want is the area of this particular shaded region because this whole length was 2 pi r and because there were equal number of sectors so this length is basically pi r and the height here is basically l because if you remember the radius of that particular sector was l and that is being transmitted here as well. So if you remember this was L and if we keep it like that, this height is L. And basically what we are trying to do is to find the area of this rectangle, which is going to be pi r times L. And this is how we can visualize the curved surface area of the cone.